Well, here they all come. Hey, Mum! What do you think of the decorations? They look wonderful. Well done, you two. She really is quite something. Oh, I haven't seen one of these since I were a lad. Look, Lily, it's a steam train. Smoke! No, Lily, it's steam. Smoke! Did someone say smoke? Oh, there's a fire! Oh, no. If the water tower falls, it'll crush the train. Stand back, everyone! I'll call Fireman Sam! <coughs> a fire at the new railway station? There's a fire at the new railway station! Right. Now keep calm. The weight of the water in that tower will be very heavy and it could collapse at any moment. Elvis, spray water at the base of the tower. Penny, drive Venus up to the front of the train. Roger that, Sam. Stay back, everyone. Stay with me, you two. Now drive, Penny. Going, Penny. The fire's out, Sam, but she's gonna go. <laughs> oh, my hard work. Oh, Dad. The train's fine. Penny pulled her out of the way just in time. Thank you, little Lily. If it wasn't for her, we wouldn't have seen the fire. Sam, if the train is okay, can we still have the opening ride then, Grandad? I'm afraid not, James. There isn't enough water in the tank yet. Oh, well, oh, never mind. mind. Oh, isn't oh, that a pity? Wait! I've got an idea. If it's water you need, Jupiter can fill her up. What a totally brilliant idea. It is, Elvis. So the opening can go ahead after all. And the Ponty Pandy Flyer joins the other splendid vehicles of Ponty Pandy. But I think you will all agree that today it was our very own Jupiter that saved the day. Yay! Yay! Sarah, she's in trouble, up on the old country path. Where's Chief Fire Officer Boyce with Jupiter? Sam? Ah, oh, it's a bit of a problem. Jupiter's stuck under the bridge. Oh, no! What are we going to do? Only one thing we can do, Penny. <laughs> one, two, three, pull! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this is going to work, sir. Hmm, you may be right. If we can't pull her out, then there's only one thing for it. We'll have to cut the platform off. Ooh. Ooh. Which way did she go? Across the field. That way. I did try to hang on to her, Sam. Don't worry, Norman. I'm here now. Stay calm, Sarah. I'll get a ladder. I heard shouting. What's up? I am! Help! Forget the ladder. I've got a better idea. Anything I can do, Sarah. Uh, grab the other end of this, Moose. And hold tight. OK, Sarah. Now lower yourself so you are just holding on by your hands. Now, when you drop, try and keep your back towards the floor. You can let go now. Now that looks like fun! No, sir, please! Stand aside, Cridlington. Stop! What on earth are you doing to my lovely engine? Oh, uh, Jupiter's stuck, and Chief Fire Officer Boyce wants to chop the platform off. What? 
There's no need for that. I suppose you have a better idea. I do, actually. Why not let the air out of the tires, lower the vehicle, and roll her out? You may have something there, Steel. <gasps> Nipper? What's that, my treasure? Nipper is driving the train, ma'am! Stop being silly, Norman. Well, look for yourself, then. Oh! He's right! There's no driver! What? Where is Gareth? There's a dog driving the train. Well, I hope he knows where he's going. <gasps> oh! Did you just say a dog was driving the train? Mm, not so boring now. <laughs> Yes, you're here. You have to stop that train before it hits the buffers at the end of the line. No problem, Mr. G. Hop aboard, Sam. Oh, I feel sick. Look, up there. It's Tom Thomas in his helicopter. He's lowering somebody in a harness. <laughs> it's Fireman Sam. Boy. Hello, Nipper. Didn't know you had a license to drive one of these things. That was incredible. Oh, thank goodness. Sam stopped us in the nick of time. Hooray for Farm and Sam! Nipper was the best train driver ever! That wasn't boring. That was awesome! Uh, when can we come again, Mum? Emergency over. We brought you back a Ponty Pandy Railway Souvenir Mug, sir. Uh, Station Officer Steele? You're right, sir. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, I'm a bit, um, stuck. Stuck? A station officer Steele was demonstrating how firefighters should always stick together. Yes, exactly. That's what it was. A little exercise in teamwork. But uh, if you could unstick us now, Sam, I'd be uh, very grateful. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. It's, it's not funny. <laughs> See? Here I go. I'm driving now. See? Just like in my game. I hope you really can drive a fire engine, Norman. Why? Because we're starting to move. Ah! But the real key to being a great firefighter is to be observant. You need to keep your eyes peeled and your wits about you at all times. Help! How do you wind down this window? Stay still. You'll kick the accelerator. What's that? Look! <laughs> the thing you just kicked! My Norman was really looking forward to his day at the fire station. He thinks he might be a fireman one day. Oh, imagine that. My Norman, a fireman. I'd be so proud. Oh, look, here he comes now, driving a fire engine. Oh, Norman's driving a fire engine! Oh, dear. I better call Fireman Sam. And that's how you become a great firefighter. Ooh, stand back, pioneers. Looks like we have an emergency. Norman Price has just been spotted driving Jupiter through Ponty Pandy. Norman Price has just been spotted driving Jupiter through Ponty Pandy. He was here a minute ago. I'll stay and keep an eagle eye on the rest of the pioneers. It's getting 
Fast! They're heading for the key. I'll try and slow them down. You get ahead, Penny, and block the road to stop any other traffic. Roger that, Sam. Now, Norman, don't panic. I need you to switch off the engine. How do I do that? Turn the key towards you. Now, press the brake pedal. Which one is it? It's the one on the left. Which is my left? The one that's not your right. I can't reach it. Oh, I'll do it. Oh. <laughs> Hello there, you two. What the grizzlies are you doing up here? <laughs> a polar bear? Why would you think I was a polar bear? We were following some big footprints in the snow and... Sarah, look! Moose, it was your tracks we were following all along. I told you there weren't any polar bears in Ponty Pandy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Back in Canada, we always say, first rule of snow survival, Loud noises cause avalanches. No problem. I'm sure I got a torch. Oh no. I was charging the battery and I forgot to pick it up again. I've got an idea. Excellent survival skills, James. I'm really worried now, Charlie. I think the twins might have got lost in the snow. Right. Let's call Fireman Sam. Ooh. What a marvellous conception. <laughs> oh, an emergency. James and Sarah are missing in the snow. James and Sarah are missing in the snow. This is just the job for Saturn. Sam, you take Mercury. Penny and Elvis, you go in Venus with Saturn. Keep in radio contact. Sign, Elvis. Not yet, Sam. Uh, wait, what's that? That could be them, but there's three of them. Sam, I think I got them. There's a cave in the woods 100 meters east from where you are. Right you are, Elvis. James, Sarah. We're in here, Uncle Sam. Don't worry. I'll have you out in no time. Oh, oh, thanks, Uncle Sam. <laughs> thanks, Sam. How did you find us? Ooh, is it a UFO? No, it's a special camera that uses heat to find people. Wow! Penny, Elvis, Saturn's found them. Everyone's safe and sound. You see, Dillis, Moose isn't the only one who knows about survival. We've run out of things to burn. We need to keep warm until help comes. I'll see what else is on the bus. Trevor, burn this. Oh, thanks, Norman. Ah! The bus! We're on a lake. And the fire has made the ice crack. Get back, everyone! Get back! My precious picture of Norman was on that bus. Now we have nowhere to shelter and no fire. If Moose doesn't get help soon, we're in big trouble. Emergency! A uh, bus has gone off the road and we need help fast. 
Great tangled hoses. Trevor's bus has gone off the road. Trevor's bus is in trouble. The passengers need our help. When's someone coming to rescue us, Dad? Very soon. Listen. They're coming! It's Fireman Sam! Elvis, make sure everyone is a safe distance away. Penny, you'll be ready in Jupiter. Everybody stand by. Activating winch. Penny, you might need to back up to help the winch. Right you are, Sam. Now, let's get some tea on and make sure everybody's nice and warm. Trevor, you saved it. Eh? Save what? My lovely picture. You knew how precious it was to me. Oh, Trevor, you were a real hero. I'd hated to lose this. It's Norman as a baby. With no clothes on! <laughs> I have to say, Moose, well done for going out in that blizzard to fetch help. That was very plucky. Hey, what can I say, Trevor? Plucky is my middle name. Fireman Sam! Mike Flood is hanging off a cliff, clinging to a giant guitar. And I thought this would be a quiet night. Tom, this is Sam. I'm going to need some backup. Sam will be here soon. You can't hold on much longer, Elvis. <laughs> Sam! Sam! Lowering the harness now, Sam! I'm sorry, kids, but it's getting late. I think we ought to go home. Oh, please, Mum. Can't we wait just a little longer? Well, we've run out of time. I'll have to send everyone home. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very sorry, but Elvis is not here tonight. So, I'm afraid... I'm afraid there will be a change in tonight's programme. I will sing for you. You? Yes, me. After all, firefighters must always be prepared to step up when the public needs them. Are you ready? Of course. Marjorie and I are always ready. Clap your hands and tap your toes. Become your helmet and your fire hose. Gonna have a great big celebration. Everybody's dancing at the fire station. Well, Mike, you're safe and sound. In the future, you two need to be a lot more careful. I'm glad you're safe, Mike. But I'm a bit sad that I missed the show. Even if I could make it now, my big entrance is ruined. Hmm. Tom? Yes, Sam? How do you fancy a trip to a concert? We're dancing in the firehouse, yes, yes. We're dancing in the firehouse, yes, yes. Dancing, singing, the fire bell is ringing. We're dancing in the firehouse. If only Cridlington could see this. <laughs> Look, it's Elvis. What the Grizzlies is going on? Wait! It's not fixed. The, the jetty's not fixed! Ooh. 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 Yeah. 
we're floating. <gasps> Towards the monster! Oh, dear. Did you hear that? The monster's underneath us. Oh, Trevor! Oops, steady. Oh, Sarah, is that what the monster sounded like? I, uh, uh, I, uh... See? Sarah's putrefied. She knows the sounds of the monster. James! <gasps> oh, no! There's a radio transmitter inside the center. Call Fireman Sam. Okay, everyone, try to stay calm. Fireman Sam will be here in no time. Stranded in the middle of the lake with a potty pandiness monster lurking below? <gasps> a group of potty pandy citizens are stranded in the middle of the lake with a monster on the loose. I needed to tie the other end of this rope to the floating jetty. Okay, Sam. Don't worry, everyone. Fireman Sam will tow you back to the shore. Mercury's not powerful enough. Jetty from moving. Elvis, hold on to this. I'm going underwater. <gasps> no, no, no! Don't be fish food! Ready, Sam! <laughs> <laughs> 